Reading is hard. We have to use our eyeballs to scan text on pages and screens to decipher mysterious hieroglyphs that are supposed to be a language. Even in my favorite anime, One Piece! Characters have to read newspapers to understand important developments in the universe. But to be able to utilize this communication medium, you'd have to be not visually impaired and, well, literate. But even with working vision literacy, reading the news is still an effort. The White House Reception Committee greeted the Prime Rib Roast Minister, and I do the cha-cha like a sissy girl. I like a do the cha-cha. The news is how we stay up to date with current events, technological discoveries, and achievements in our communities. Jag tackar för äran att ha tilldelats Nobelpriset i kemi. But to remain constantly up to date is an investment of time and energy. So what if the news came to you without you having to read? Today we'll be making a digital news reporter. First, we need a news source. We'll be going with Reuters. To harvest the data off the site, we'll be using web scraping and employ the angelic voice of Google to report these articles to us. Wilpo is the best. So a little bit of research into how news is reported. We find that the industry takes into consideration our human attention span. So when we're using the text-to-speech feature, we'll only take the first three paragraphs of the article to load into the program to read. The main site provides only the headline and the first paragraph, so scraping has to follow through the hyperlinks and collect the entire article. By reading out the most important paragraphs, but also recording the actual article in case the end user wants to find out more, that's a fast and effortless method of keeping up to date with current affairs. Let's run a demo. The product scrapes in order off the page follows through the hyperlink into the article, reads out the main starting paragraphs, and then moves on to the next story. Danish spy agency shared information with US intelligence. Dr. Broadcaster Copenhagen, Reuters. Denmark's foreign intelligence unit has shared raw data from information cables with the US. A Brazilian court temporarily removed Rio de Janeiro state governor Wilson Witzel from office of Japan's longest serving prime minister. Shinzo Abe is set to resign over a worsening health condition. News is accessible in the information era and can only be made even more accessible with more innovation. Now, I just want to know when we're going to get a headline about flying cars. Wait, what the hell?